Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. The 2021 Kyungi Province Human Cultural Asset Festival was held at the Hanam Art Center from November 12th to 14th. Held under the theme of Millennium of Masters, this event featured performances and exhibitions of plays, music, dances, games, and other intangible cultural assets of the province. A total of 68 intangible cultural assets were featured at the festival, including masters of 40 skill sets, such as porcelain making and comedic performances, as well as 28 masters of arts, such as traditional Kyungi folk songs. On October 28th, Kyungi Province provided delivery workers with safety education at the Labor Rights Center in Goyang City. Introduced for the first time among Korean local governments to foster a safe delivery culture and promote safety awareness, this education program also offered a penalty reduction benefit so as to encourage participation. The province plans to stage this education program at a series of locations in November. Kyungi Province plans to operate a sign language service initially on a trial basis at eight tourism locations in the province, including the cities of Paju, Gwangju, and Shihung. Provided in connection with Kyungi Tour Nurim, a tour vehicle support program for individuals with disabilities, this service will include the provision of location information by guides accompanied by sign language interpreters. For this program, the province has recruited 29 cultural tourism guides and provided them with two months of preparatory education. Based on the results of trial operation, the province will consider expansion of the service next year. In response to the acute shortage of diesel exhaust fluid, also known as DEF, Kyungi Province convened the first meeting of a task force comprised of the heads and senior officials of its 31 cities and counties on November 15th. The meeting was chaired by acting Kyungi Province Governor Oh Byung-gwan. Topics discussed during the meeting included current DEF production and distribution, as well as ways in which to secure DEF supplies and minimize losses through the monitoring of related fields. Consisting of five teams, including an economy and industry team and an environment and investigation team, this task force will pursue the development and implementation of short and long-term response measures. On November 15th, Acting Kyungi Province Governor Oh Byung-gwan visited marine and fishery-related sites, including Gukwa Do Island and the Kyungi Marine Safety Experiential Center. During his visit to the island, Acting Governor Oh participated in coastal cleaning with residents. He also visited Tando Port and viewed the operation of an ocean cleaning ship, the Kyungi Changjung Ho. Since last year, Kyungi Province has been pursuing its Clean Kyungi Oceans initiatives so as to realize a clean marine environment for residents through marine resource protection and environmental management efforts. The Kyungi Agricultural Research and Extension Services is currently providing on-site technical training to 153 Rural Leaders Association members in seven cities and counties of the province, including the cities of Osan, Yongin, Uiwang, and Ichun. Running until November 24th, this program is geared to improve the competitiveness of provincial agriculture while providing next-generation farmers with technical support through education on drone usage, welding, and heavy equipment. The Institute expects this program to help promote the latest technologies while preventing farm-related accidents. At a press conference on November 18th, Kyungi Provincial Assembly members proposed the introduction of amphibious buses on routes that encompass Han River boat routes. Assembly member Min Gyung Sun asserted that amphibious buses can reduce commuting times while operating at costs that are lower than those of other traffic congestion remedies. Assembly member Jo Sung Hwan proposed the operation of amphibious buses as provincial public buses, as well as utilization of the buses 
for tours outside of commuting hours. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank <laughs> you.